Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Andre and if you've been watching my channel at all, you know I love hamburgers and today we're doing hamburgers but we're doing the Oklahoma onion burger or onion burger, whatever you want to call them. I've been seeing them in my feeds for the last little while and I'm very intrigued by these. They look super simple to make and the smoker is actually going but we're going to be using the flat top which is awesome. I love using that and let's just dive in. So we've got brioche buns, we've got some nice Spanish onions and just regular ground beef and that's it and salt and pepper. I'm not even going to weigh these out. I'm just going to make some balls about the size I want that are going to fit that burger bun really nicely. We're not going to season them yet because all we're going to do is add salt and pepper but we're going to do that out on the grill. Okay, we're going to keep it really simple for the onion. All we're going to do is cut it in half, peel it, take the top and bottom off, leave that to the side. And we're going to use the mandolin. Be very careful with mandolins because before you know it, you could cut yourself and uh, always use the guard. I will use the guard when I get further down. So basically, I just want to show you. We want these paper thin. These are paper thin and that's what we want. That's going to help uh, with the frying and the caramelization of the onions. Yes, I have the guard. I'm going to use it now because I really like my fingers. Okay, we're done that. That I think is plenty. I really don't know how much we're going to need, but we're going to play that by ear when we're out at the grill. There you go. The two, two ingredients, we're going to keep this really simple. And uh, let's see how it goes. And now it's super important to keep your grill clean. So we're going to scrape it first. And I found this uh, grill stone. I don't know what it's made of, but it's you rub it on the grill and then take everything off. It's beautiful. Now be careful with this part. I just want to clean it off that we get any de debris that we don't want on our burgers. And I don't know if you know, but if you're using, let's say, a cast iron or steel pan like this, to know it's hot enough, drop some water on, and if it beads up and rolls around like that, you're ready to cook. So we're going to throw some butter on now just to help season it. Okay, here we go. Leave a little bit of space between the burgers. And I'll give them all a good flattening. Very too close. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to each one now. Good. And the other star of the show, the onion. That looks good. Now we're just gonna let them go for a little bit. We wanna build that nice crust on that side. And then we're gonna flip them, but I'm gonna put them over on the cooler side. Cause we don't want those onions to burn. We just want them to caramelize and get all that flavor. And with putting the butter on and everything you see, it's they're very anti-stick, which is beautiful. I think they're ready. Oh, look at that. Damn, those look so good. Mm. 
They're coming along very nicely. Uh, onions are almost done and I'm excited because this smells so good. Oh my God. They're almost done. I put a little bit of butter on the bread. So we're gonna toast these off too. Those on there. Well, I'm not going inside. I'm digging in right now. Mm. I have to say that's really good. I should put mustard and pickles on, but I wanted to try it just by itself, and that's fantastic. Mmm. Well, everybody, that is a winner. That Those caramelized onions, there is something to this burger. I'm gonna work on it more. But uh, the way it is, just with the salt, pepper, the onions, and that char burger, mm, that is so good. But I think it would be better, a little bit of mustard and pickle, and it would be perfect. Guys, thanks for watching, and happy eating.